my camera. This is the before, and this is the after. Oh my gosh, it echoes now. I think it's like really flattering on me as well. So I am definitely keeping this one. And so this is a maybe because it's so different for me, but also sometimes I like dressing edgy. It's Izzy and welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are having a beautiful, wonderful day. Seeing that we're all in quarantine and stuck in home, I thought I would finally do some good spring cleaning. Especially since I'm going to college this year, I really wanna just clear out my entire closet and figure out things that I actually genuinely love. So the goals that I wanna achieve by the end of this video are to make progress towards a more minimalistic wardrobe filled with clothes that actually make me happy and to try to get rid of at least a third of my clothes. So stay tuned to see if I can do it. Without further ado, Let's begin. Welcome to my closet. This is my closet. This is what it currently looks like. I did organize my closet into different sections. So we're gonna go through each of those sections and pick out things that I wanna keep and don't wanna keep. So the way that I'm doing this is creating four different piles. One pile for donation, one pile for keep, one pile for altering, and one pile for trying on. So let's begin. What should I start with? I don't know. Okay, let's start with dresses. When you're cleaning out your closet, I think it's super important to literally just take everything out. So I'm gonna take all the dresses out and put them on my bed. That way, I'm just focused on this one section. This first little black sundress, I got it as a hand-me-down and I loved it and I wore it a lot. Like my freshman year, so I still have it and I haven't really worn it since. Boop! It's gonna get so messy, oh gosh. I'm gonna keep these on the floor. I don't... <laughs> Keep it here. I absolutely love this dress. I got it from Nordstrom Rack. It is so cute. I love the little eyelet pattern on there. I just think it's like really flattering on me as well. So I am definitely keeping this one. My high school colors are gold and black and I thought this was perfect to wear to all the games. I still really like it and I like the way that it fits on me and I feel really confident in it. So I'm definitely keeping this one as well. This dress I need to alter when I originally bought it. I got it from Cotton On at a clearance store and I got it for like five dollars or something like that it was a really good deal and what i wanted to do to alter it is to basically just like cinch it at the waist and i thought that would be super cute so this is going in the altar pile a lot of the dresses i would say i, I usually keep also this dress i'm really i don't know every time i wear it i feel like really self-conscious about this part just because um i can never find the right bra to wear with it and then also it's just like i'm just not comfortable in it so maybe i should get rid of this it's so cute though <laughs> Okay, this is another dress that I really like. This dress is so perfect for any formal events that I have to go to. I'm gonna try it on. This dress I just bought before quarantine and I was gonna wear it to Japan. It's been canceled. My trip to Japan has been canceled, so I really can't wear it. I don't really know where I can wear it to. I'm gonna try it on though. It's definitely very different than my normal style. This dress, my mom was so right. I bought this from Guest Style and I only wore it once ever in my entire existence of life. That didn't make any sense. Sadly, I'm gonna have to get rid of this. It'll find a much better home somewhere else. Also, I simply just don't really wear bodycon dresses out places unless I'm layering it or putting a jacket over it. This was also from my Yes Style video. I thought it was super cute and at the time I was also going for the e-girl look and also because I just really like trying new styles and stuff. This is a maybe because it's so different for me, but also sometimes I like dressing edgy. tops that I just like to hang up instead of putting in my dresser drawers. This is my pumpkin top. Um, I'm gonna try this one on. I used to wear it all the time. It used to be my very favorite top to wear. I bought this top in Paris and so it's like really sentimental to me. Kind of cool because like you don't always get clothes from Paris. <sighs> I feel like one of the only times I did wear it was when I went to the last bookstore. I've worn it maybe three to five times. I have to say goodbye by the way if you do like what you see with all the outfit pics feel free to check out my instagram because my instagram is where i post outfit pics ask for your opinion and keep you all updated on my channel you can find the link to my instagram in the description below now back to the show that was actually from my grandma's closet and i wore it in an instagram photo here and it's one of those things that i'm like oh my gosh it's so different but i don't necessarily love it with this top it's it's unique. I find that I'm always intrigued by clothing that is a little bit different, but still trending. And every time I try it on, I'm kind of like, it's cute, but like, I don't think it fits me right. And honestly, I've only worn this like once or twice. So I think I'm gonna just donate this. 
All right, moving on to my next section. Whoa, look how clear that closet already looks. Rompers. I got a lot of rompers, man. I did not realize. As you can tell, dresses and rompers take up the majority of my closet. This used to be my mom's, and she gave it to me, and she used to wear it when she was younger. Ah, I kind of want to... Mm, what do I do? <laughs> this is another example of a bad purchase. I got this from Fashion Q. It was for $15. I put it on. I was like, oh my gosh, this is so cute. But there's something wrong. And if you feel that way, definitely don't. Don't buy it because um, you're going to end up not wearing it. And that's what happened to this piece of clothing. So donate. Bloop. I've had this romper for three years and again, I haven't worn it that much. Every time I look at it, I'm like, oh, it's so cute. Like I will wear it one day. I have to constantly be pulling it up. I am not keeping this. Ah, I love this romper so much. I haven't really worn it much because it's been super cold, but I really like the way that it fits on me and how it gives the illusion of me having curves. So I'm keeping this one. to my skirts. I have a lot of skirts as well. I really did not realize how much of each thing I had. This orange skirt I got from Nordstrom. Although it's a little expensive, I definitely recommend shopping at Nordstrom for buying like good quality clothing because they have a great return policy. You can literally return it like a year or two later and they will accept it and you'll get your money back, all of it. So yes. This is also a skirt that I got from Nordstrom. This is a maybe because I have a couple of denim skirts. Oh, I have one in here too. Oh, oh no, my camera. I'm so sorry. You rest there. Just chill out for a second. Okay. I have three denim skirts and in reality, I don't wear all of them. Um, so I'm definitely gonna have to figure out which one I wanna keep. Okay, hydration. I love this skirt. This is also one of my favorites right now. It's brand new and I'm super excited to still wear it. Even though the zipper is like really bad. It's broken a couple of times, but I fixed it. I love this skirt so much. I love the fit on me. I've taken a couple of Instagram photos in it. It is so cute. It's great for a picnic. I love a picnic look. Keeping that. You guys notice that like my keep pile is actually really small. I have a feeling that everything in my maybe pile is supposed to go in the donation pile, but I... <sighs> My heart. Next is this little two-piece set that I got from YesStyle as well. I honestly have not worn this set at all. In my defense, I wouldn't wear this to school, so I haven't had time to wear this. Also, we're in quarantine now, so <laughs> I don't know, okay. I feel like I would wear the skirt more than I would wear the top. I'm definitely gonna have to film this in a couple of days because I cannot, I can't do all of this in one day. This is taking way too long. This skirt, I just fixed and I was so happy to fix it. Oh, wait, I had an epiphany. Both of these items I got from Paris, so it's okay if I just keep one of them. So I'm gonna keep this one because I like this one better. I don't really wear this one that often, so I'm gonna donate this one. Goodbye. If I was doing this off camera, I definitely wouldn't be putting anything in the donation pile. Cardigans. As you can see, there's a lot of floral here. Floral is kind of my thing, not gonna lie. I love this so much. I mean, just look at this shade of pink and then also the little gold specks on it. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's a nice little statement piece to throw over like a simple outfit. Even this outfit, I can just switch it out. I mean, look at this. This is so cute. I know not a lot of people would wear this because it's just so bright. And honestly, the first time I got it, my mom was so shocked and I shocked myself. I was like, Wait, this is actually so cute and I still absolutely love this so much. Look how iconic. Definitely a keeper. You guys, look how empty. Woo, 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 woo. <laughs> Choked on my spit. Oh my gosh. This is another sentimental piece that I have. I got this from Taiwan, I wanna say four years ago or something like that. In all honesty, it's nice to wear around at night because it was kind of cold, so this kept me warm. But now that I'm home, I really don't wear it a lot here. I got this from Japan. 
I should probably start, you know what? Oh, it's so thick and nice too. I'm gonna start wearing them. You know what the plus side of this hoodie is? It's got a booty, unlike me. <laughs> I wear this a lot actually. <laughs> Literally, I have only worn this once. And this is the exact same case as the other fashion cue items I was talking about. I got this from Forever 21. I saw it and I was like, this would be perfect to wear to Japan. But the thing is, it's like if you buy things for a certain occasion, you also have to think about how many other times am I gonna wear this? Like how realistic is that? When I saw it, it made me happy, but now that I have it, it just, it doesn't. Sadly, have to get rid of this. I'm hungry. I'm back. So I ate my lunch and then I also got coffee. This is my second cup of coffee today and I've never done that before. I feel like such a rebel. Freshman and sophomore year of high school, I was on the swim team. And so I have quite a lot of swim jackets. I'm still not sure what to do with these because I could definitely wear them like up in the mountains, but it's not really realistic that I will. I have not worn these in two years. So if I can, I'm definitely gonna donate them. Again, I have two very similar items in my closet and I only really need to keep one. So I'm gonna try these on and figure out which one later. Gotta keep the Uniqlo jackets, of course. Hello, woo, woo. Oh my gosh, it echoes now, wow. By the way, this is a sock. Um, I don't actually have like the, the pop thingy that goes on top of this. Now that I've actually cleared out my entire closet, I'm gonna be going in through my drawers. Alrighty, so in this first drawer here, I have all of these tops and also my fuzzy socks right here. I absolutely love my fuzzy socks. My mom got these for me for my 18th birthday because I said I wanted fuzzy socks for college. So now we're just gonna start going through each of them. It's definitely a lot easier to decide what to clear out from this drawer because I wear a lot of the stuff that's in here. There's just only a couple of things that I don't actually wear that I'm gonna try on. So now I have completely cleared out my closet. What I'm gonna do is try on all the clothes. These are all the clothes that I'm gonna be trying on to decide if I'm gonna keep it or not. <laughs> Now that I've separated all of my clothes from both my closet and my drawers into the four piles, I tried on everything in the try-on pile. To decide what I was going to keep, I asked myself these questions. Number one, do I feel confident in this? Two, can I get a lot of wear out of this? Three, how often do I wear this or reach for it? And finally, four, does it genuinely spark joy? Because in the wise words of Marie Kondo, discard everything that does not spark joy. So I will be getting rid of clothes that doesn't make me happy when I wear it. I also calculated the percentage of clothes I got rid of, so stay tuned to the end to see if I reached my goal. Also, if I had two items that I thought were super similar and I couldn't decide on which one to keep, I would keep the one that was most versatile and the one that I would wear the most. Then, after doing my final run through of which clothes to keep, I folded and put away all of my clothes. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the moment you have all maybe probably been waiting for the very satisfying before and after montage. Drum roll, please! My goal was to get rid of at least a third of my closet, which is equivalent to 33%. By the end of this video, I actually donated 36% of my closet, so I reached my goal and made my closet 36% smaller. Overall, I'm actually pretty pleased with how much clothes I donated and it was actually a really fun journey, so thank you for coming along with me. That is all for this video. I hope you all enjoyed. I worked super hard on this video, so I'm hoping that it shows. If you did enjoy this video, please make sure to subscribe, comment down below, and like this video. All those things help support me and my channel, so I hope you all will please do that. Thank you. If you have any cleaning tips, please leave them down below. I love to read those. And let's try to get this video to 30 likes. I know we can do it. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope to see you all in the next one. Bye.